Hello, and welcome back to Road Tripia. Today, episode number 387 is going to be a little bit different. We had a viewer named Antonio request a before and after category. If you're not familiar with what that is, here's an example of one of those questions. Question. What is the celestial body of extremely intense gravity that scores an ace in the sport of golf? It's two questions, but they all blend together before and after. The answer to that would be a black hole in one. So it answers the first question, it answers the second question, and usually one or more words in the middle tie it all together. So. Hopefully, you can figure that out. If you need to, feel free to pause the video to give yourself a little bit of extra time to think. Here we go. Question one. What office supply item is used to hold items together that was also an HBO miniseries about the U.S. Army's Easy Company during World War II? So the answer to that is Rubber Band of Brothers. See how that ties in there? Question two. Who famously said, give me liberty or give me death before donning a leather jacket to play the Fonz on Happy Days? Feel free to pause the video. If you think you know it, you just need a little bit of time to think about it. The answer to that is Patrick Henry Winkler. Question three. What is the Shakespeare comedy that has been cooked until all the red in the steak is gone and the meat reaches 170 degrees internally? The answer is all's well that ends well done. Get it? Uh, question four. What is the title of the ancient Egyptian collection of funerary text that is also a Robin Williams film with the message Carpe Diem? The answer is the Book of the Dead Poets Society. Question 5. What is the biggest trio of events in horse racing that the Queen keeps stored and displayed at the Tower of London? The answer is the Triple Crown Jewels. All right, 15 more. Question six. What is the name for a night sack for a snoozing Boy Scout that is also the set of skills available to someone like a magician? The answer is a sleeping bag of tricks. <laughs> Question number seven. Who is Snoopy's owner and also a large ursine animal found in the forests of North America, Europe, and Asia? The answer is Charlie Brown Bear. Question eight. What member of the Argiad dynasty became king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon and was a large body of water in Northern Utah? It's 
sometimes it helps to figure out the second answer and then go back to the first. In this case, Alexander the Great Salt Lake. It's pretty funny. I like these. Question nine. Which U.S. executive mansion is a judge's legal order of confinement to one's own residence instead of prison? The answer is the White House arrest. Question 10. What is the name of the historic New York City sports arena where the biblical couple Adam and Eve lived before the first sin? The answer is Madison Square Garden of Eden. Question 11. What is the name of the 25th installment of the Bond franchise coming in 2021 where Bruce Willis fights off bad guys at the Nakatomi Plaza? The answer is No Time to Die Hard. Question 12. What is the title of the 1873 Jules Verne adventure novel that's also an NBC soap opera that's been on the air since 1965? The answer is Around the World in 80 Days of Our Lives. Question 13. What is the Central Florida NBA team's method of transportation used by Prince Hussein in the book 1001 Nights? Pause the video if you need just a little bit more time to think of this stuff. Because the answer to this one is the Orlando Magic Carpet. Question 14. What is the symbol on the Israeli flag that stood for the actor who played Jareth, King of the Goblins? The answer is Star of David Bowie. Question 15. What is the title of the Spielberg movie about an effort to save a World War II soldier who's also a 12-time U.S. Olympic medal-winning swimmer, bro? The answer is Saving Private Ryan Lochte. Question 16. What is the numerical synonym for ESP that's also a healthy ability to appreciate a joke? The answer is a sixth sense of humor. Question 17. What is the title of the J.K. Rowling novel with the professional basketball team that plays their home games in Arizona? The 
The answer is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Suns. Question 18. What is the name of the Maid of Orleans who has a monument at the end of the Champs Elysees in Paris, France? The answer is Joan of Arc de Triumph. Question 19. What are Jerry Garcia's ancient Jewish religious manuscripts that were found in the Qumran caves in the Judean desert? That would be the Grateful Dead Sea Scrolls. Question 20. What flavor of ice cream with chocolate, marshmallows, and nuts is named after a scenic car journey, perhaps along Route 66 or the Pacific Coast Highway? The answer is Rocky Road Trip. All right, I hope that was fun. Antonio, I hope that's what you were expecting. When I looked up before and after questions, that was the kind of questions that I was getting. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun figuring these out and writing some questions. I did get some from the television show Jeopardy uh, because I think that's where the category came from. If not, I'm just wrong, but uh, that's where I found a lot of the types of questions like this. So. I really enjoyed making it. Hopefully you guys did. I actually went ahead and named it before and after number one because I definitely plan on doing more of these. So thank you, Antonio, for your suggestion. Everyone else, I hope you really liked it. And here is question 21, the tiebreaker. What is the game of general knowledge from Hasbro where you collect wedges and get a key phrase from the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty, and the answer is the trivial pursuit of happiness. That is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Tripvia. Tomorrow is Friday, so it will be another episode of Trebek's Trivia. I think that is number three, and that is 20 questions. Now 21 with the tiebreaker. 21 questions straight from the episodes of Jeopardy. The questions are phrased just a little bit different. They're phrased in the form of a question so you can answer in the form of an answer. So it's a little different than the television show, but all of the quizzes, all the clues come directly from episodes of Jeopardy. So check back tomorrow. It'll be on around noon, 1, 2, or 3, or 4 o'clock Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching. Go Buffalo Bills this weekend and have a good night.